Taking care of a dog will give your daily life more energy and excitement and give you a feeling of accomplishment. It is also essential to keep in mind that getting a dog means additional responsibilities as you will be taking care of a living being. Before adopting a new dog, it is advised to research the breed, such as their lifestyle, how to train them, their diet, and other essential factors. It is also vital that you know the common Pomeranian health issues that may affect your dog while growing up. It is also interesting to know their life expectancy and the things that you can do to ensure they live a happy, healthy, and long life. If you are looking for a small, fluffy fur baby that is smart, obedient, and active, then a Pomeranian is perfect for you. Watch on as we will be discussing the common Pomeranian health issues and the treatment for these. More importantly, we believe that prevention is better than cure, so we will be tackling what we can do to avoid these issues. 1. Patella Lixation This health concern is common in many toy dog breeds, such as Shih Tzu, Chihuahua, Pugs, and Pomeranian. The main culprit for this patella luxation, also known as slipping kneecaps, is genetics and how the bones are structured. Found within the tendon of thigh muscles are the patella or kneecaps. The tendon is a tough inelastic band of tissue joining the bony attachment in the muscle. If you notice that your Pomeranian have back leg problems then they most likely have patella luxation, the patella will be loose and will move back and forth underneath the tendons. To prevent this health risk, you have to be keen when it comes to diet and exercise. By properly feeding your dog with a well-balanced diet, they will have less risk of having calcium deficiency, which affects their bone strength. Pomeranians should have patellas evaluated yearly as grading can become progressively worse with age. By providing regular exercise, their limbs and joints strengthen. However, strenuous jumping exercises can be harsh to their small limbs, so mild running will do. 2. Tracheal Collapse Another common health risk for small dogs is tracheal collapse. The trachea, or the windpipe, is made up of a circular group of cartilage, which allows mammals to breathe. If these get weakened, they could collapse, resulting in becoming narrower. This makes your dog breathing harder due to the development of dry and harsh coughing and gagging. How to prevent tracheal collapse? You can't do much if the cause is a genetic disposition, but you can prevent your palm from having a tracheal collapse by using a harness instead of a collar. Also, keep in mind that obese dogs have greater chances of a collapsed trachea, so exercise and proper diet are necessary. 3. Pharyngeal Gag Reflex Pharyngeal gag reflex, or reverse sneezing, occurs when they suddenly have a rapid and forceful inhalation of air through their nose. Reverse sneezing got its name because palms who have experienced this sound like they are attempting to take in a sneeze. There are various causes for reverse sneezing, such as teeth infections, nasal irritation, and air irritants such as smoke and pollen. Another reason for this health risk is an irritated larynx or palate, which can cause spasms in those areas. 4. Coat loss. Alopecia X also known as black skin disease usually happens on puppies when there are excessive coats with no guard hairs that do not shed. When these coats are shed, there are still guard hairs left that can be irritating to them. Another version of a similar condition happens at a later age, where the fur will start to grow, looking normal, but as time passes by, it will begin to thin out, starting from the back, moving towards the bottom area. It is important to have the coat examined and determine the underlying issue to avoid worsening the risk. How to prevent coat loss? The most effective way to prevent this health risk is through proper grooming and bathing. 5. Hypothyroidism Typhoid glands produce thyroxine that all mammals' bodies require and if it fails to manufacture enough, it can lead to hypothyroidism and itchiness. Unfortunately, this health risk is a common disease for palms. To determine if the cause is hypothyroidism, dogs will undergo blood tests administered by your veterinarian. Blood tests will get more accurate results because the symptoms stated above can also be caused by other canine health risks. Once determined that it is in fact hypothyroidism, your vet will most likely prescribe thyroxine medication. How to prevent hypothyroidism? To prevent hypothyroidism, it is vital to keep the thyroids healthy. There are numerous multivitamins that contain vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, and iodine that helps in maintaining the flow of thyroxine in the body. Also, adding more fiber to your dog's diet can greatly increase the chances of preventing hypothyroidism. You can incorporate asparagus, green beans, spinach, and carrots that are rich in fiber. 
6. Cushing's disease. Also known as hyperadrenocorticism, is common for canines who suffer from great amounts of stress and anxiety. This disease results in high levels of a hormone called cortisol and is usually accompanied by a tumor. Cushing's disease can mostly affect adult dogs. Some puppies can contract it but the symptoms only appear once they reach adulthood. 7. Heart disease. Heart disease is common in all dogs and should be taken seriously even if it is just mild. Similar to human heart risks, Pomeranians can suffer from it if they have a poor genetic history and poor lifestyles, such as obesity, lack of exercise, and little socialization. How to prevent heart disease? With complete and nutritious meals, regular exercise, and routine checkups, dogs can prevent having heart disease. 8. Idiopathic Epilepsy Yes, you read that right. Canines can get epilepsy and seizure, too. There is one major difference between a seizure and epilepsy, frequency. If your Pomeranian experienced it once or multiple times, it is a seizure. If it is ongoing, it is epilepsy. How to prevent idiopathic epilepsy? Since head injury is the number one cause of idiopathic epilepsy, it is recommended to have your home safe for dogs. Keep their bed in a low area, and eliminate objects that could be a risk for the head to bump into. 9. Idiopathic Hypoglycemia Hypoglycemia is having very low blood sugar, and it is more common than you think. Glucose is the sugar that can be found in our body that is created when food is digested. Hypoglycemia is mostly caused by poor diet and insufficient food for puppies. When a puppy requires to move more, usually when doing physical activities such as exercise and walking, they need more glucose to function. A young puppy with hypoglycemia will lack energy since glucose fuels the body for energy. Without the energy giving glucose, the puppy will begin to feel weak and lethargic. In severe cases, the puppy might even get a seizure, and in extreme cases, can become comatose and lethal. How to prevent idiopathic hypoglycemia? With proper diet and exercise, palms can live healthily without suffering from idiopathic hypoglycemia. It is advisable to give your fur baby small regular meals frequently, rather than three big meals in a day. 10. Cataracts. Cataracts limit your palm's ability to assess distances. Symptoms are cloudy eyes and swelling or discoloration around the eyes. Cataracts are often likely to lead to blindness, so it is urgent to contact your vet for treatment and possible surgery as soon as you recognize the symptoms. Unfortunately, cataract is not preventable. Thus, observing your dog's eyes regularly is vital. Taking care of this dog breed has risks because of Pomeranian's possible common health problems, but it is all worth it. The fulfillment you will get from having an adorable, lifelong canine buddy is the best reward you could ask for.